Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loesch. Actually, next is Mike Brenner, and this is the MLB Yachts Couple Show for Wednesday, July 27th. You know, Mike Brenner, uh, a lot of, we got a lot of, we get rushed a lot here, and sometimes, uh, you know, we don't do, I don't have, uh, you know, my, my full preparation for the, for the show, so uh, sometimes I, I, I get picks that I'm not 100% into, but tonight, today, this You're card, feeling it. Oh, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm feeling good. It. I'm going to just, I'm, tra- I'm, I'm going to tell I'm you, full, buddy, I'm because. Fully, well, that doesn't necessarily mean. You should tell me. I'm well, saying, Pete, I can't I'm do saying, any worse than I'm doing, for, with yeah, all due respect. Let's, throw, I am, let's throw, the, uh, throw, throw the record, record out. out. Just throw now, mine yeah. out. This will be bad news for our editors because I might have 12 or 15 picks here. The good news is, though, if I'm right, <laughs> if I'm right, I might be out of my the abyss, out of my abyss yeah. with just one. Well, you know day. what's even better news? Yeah, college football's right yes, around the corner. That's so. Absolutely true. <laughs> and we're, what are we doing? We're oh, we're going to be on USC. Yes, that's where. All right, let's get to the uh, MLB card. I'm not even going to give all the uh, the uh, the best lines because we're going to have we got Jordan coming on, okay. so we got we got to keep it going. I'm just going to give the picks. Let's give and, the picks. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So the first one, let, let's go right down the line. First one, I'm going to give Washington, Cleveland, second half. Over that's Ooh, three. Yeah. Okay, the uh, the second pick, the second game I'm going to give Philadelphia and Miami. I'm going to take the first five innings under, and I'm going to take Philadelphia first five innings uh, the run line plus a half. Eflin off of the yeah. nine inning, a great start. Great. Now you know when rookies have a have a great start like that, a lot of times they revert, but he looks pretty strong. Conley yeah. on the other side is good as well though, but it's a big underdog line. I bet Philly on the on the full game line uh, uh, overnight, and I'm I'm, wow. I'm not going to give that here. I just don't give underdogs in this show. Yeah. I don't know why. Yesterday I had a bunch of underdogs winners. I could have given them all. But, yeah, well, uh, you start. You need to start doing it, Pete. Yeah, yeah, but I am going to give the first five innings under and Philly on the uh, first five innings uh, okay. uh, run line. Then Detroit, Boston, I'm going to give the first five innings under. That's six. Fulmer and Rodriguez, right? Yeah. Our, our old friend Fulmer. Uh, he's going to have a good friend. start probably. And then e- well, Erod. I'm- yeah, I'm going to go uh, full game money line on Boston on that. Full game just money so, line since we're on, on Boston. The same okay, one. yes, yeah. and that's a that's a very modest line here. You're fading Fulmer here, but Erod again yep. been great in his two starts back from. Uh, I like the from, momentum, and yeah. that was so that's about minus one uh, fifteen, minus one fifteen okay, for a DSI. Good. Full game money line. Right. Boston. Then, then the Dodgers. I'm taking them on the minus one line. That should be about minus one twenty or minus one thirty. They're against uh, Tampa Bay. McCarthy's been great. Yes. Off of the uh, DL, and, 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 and uh, Moore can be good, but I feel like right now he's a step down. And uh, Tampa Bay, you know, Kiermaier's back, but I feel like they're a step down from the Dodgers. Yeah, Kiermaier hadn't been doing a whole lot right. anyway. Pistol Pete, what was the run line with the Dodgers? Full game? Probably be about plus one twenty. Yeah, or yeah. So. I'm in on that one. Dodgers okay. full game. Full run game line. run line. Yep. Okay. Then uh, San Francisco, Cincinnati. I think I'm going to hold off. Do you have anything to say about that one? Well, Bumgarner. big win. Last Massive night, game. what a game! Yeah. yeah, it's just too high. And Bumgartner's just going through something, and their bats have been inconsistent. But last night they pulled out a big win. Do they springboard from that? I don't know. I'm not willing to bet it. Right, and right now, I'm I'm just getting my ass handed to me. Mm-hmm. So I got to be a lot more careful with my bank mm-hmm. management. So actually, I am going to take it. San Francisco team total over four. It's going to be okay. minus one twenty. Then Colorado, Baltimore. This is a tricky one. I bet the yeah. I bet Oof. the under, and I bet Colorado on the overnight Colorado's line. Colorado's playing as some a good dog. baseball. Uh, the, I, I, and I am going to take Colorado, Baltimore first half on. Under, it should be five. Okay. That's what that one should be. Then we have Seattle and Pittsburgh. I'm going to take Seattle, Pittsburgh, second half over three. I also bet Seattle as a big dog on the overnight, uh, and uh, you know. Well, they look good last yeah, night. Yeah, I'd like that here, but again, the dogs just don't give. I'm going to hold up now. Here who's, we on go. The, who's on the Who's on the mound for Pittsburgh? Cole. Cole? Cole. Okay, Cole's Cole. Been, been, been pitching well. Now yeah. here we go. No brainer. No brainer. Here we no go. Brainer. Pull that trigger, put Pistol the, yeah, Pete. Put, the, put the, all the freaking bells and whistles that signal a no <laughs> brainer pick. <laughs> St. Louis at the Mets. Wayne Wright starting against Verrett. Wow. Uh, seems on paper. This. I mean, we've seen this before. Remember when uh, when Bumgarner was uh, was uh, strangely he went yeah. being a dog against the Yankees. We were like, what's going on here? Yankees wound up winning. I know. Similar it. situation here. Wayne Wright, a strangely uh, low uh, favorite on the road against Verrett, who's had you know control Logan Verrett's been struggling. Yeah. So St. Louis on the first five innings is the no brainer pick. Is it going to lose? Maybe. I don't know, but I'm going to be honest. That's just one of okay. my 15 Okay, I like today. that, though. 15. And, and, Jesus, and I'm also going to take St. Louis minus one. Wow. Then we have Oakland and Texas. This is an issue on Manea. Remember a long time ago, he was struggling, and I said he's had, he was doing well in the minors. At some yeah. point, he's going to turn around. He has turned around. His last three starts have been awesome. Yeah, Manea's awesome. doing really well. And Darvish in his <clears> last <throat> two starts comes coming back from the DL. Uh, his strikeouts have been way up. Yeah. So I'm going to take the first five innings under here. Well, guess what? That's what I'm doing. I'm, and here. I'm not tailing either. I'm no. taking first half uh, first under. First five innings under. First okay. five under. Sounds good. I also did bet the full game under on the overnight, but I'm not going to give you here just the uh, the first five innings. I also bet Oakland on the overnight, but again, I'm not going to uh, give it here. Then we have the Cubs and White Sox. Bit both of us last two games. Pass for me. You have any? Yeah, no, I'm one? done with that. You know what though? I do. I will say this: the Cubs. That, whew, that team doesn't even have one batter batting 300. This team isn't as powerful as mm-hmm. I thought, and yeah. I really I've lost some money. I think I myself. 
Love overvalued them. Mm -hmm. They better wake up and take a look around them. And I'm telling you right now, they got to get rid of that Jason Hayward mm -hmm. right away. That guy doesn't contribute shit. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. I had to get that out of my yeah, no, please, I just please, had to vent today. we got to analyze here. All right. Yeah. Then the Yankees in Houston, interesting. Also yeah. bit us. Also Oof. bit us. Houston, this team Fit long term is going to be good. Doug but, Fister, uh, I finally back him after fading him, and he sent me on vacations. Know, I back uh, him, and he kicks me in the ass. I think overall long term, betting on Houston is a good deal, but uh, they haven't gotta gotta it done this series. McCullers against Tanaka, two good starters. What do you think? It's not staying the hell away staying from the hell away. Right. Ten foot pole pistol. And then the last uh, bet that I'm going to make: Atlanta, Minnesota, Fultonavich and Duffy. I'm going to take a shot with the under. It should be about a nine and a half. Yeah. Uh, I also that was their uh, that was yeah. their total last night. It was a two to nothing game. Those, yeah. those bats are just not there. Pitching well, Duffy has not been pitching well, but. Atlanta doesn't Atlanta, have the bats, yeah. and once in a while, uh, Duffy can be good. So I'm taking the uh, for the, uh, the the under in that one. At uh, nine and a half, right? Mm -hmm. And that's it for me. I don't know how many uh, bets that were, but 12, 13. If I sweep it, I'm probably fully out of the abyss, my personal abyss. Jesus, that's a beautiful thing. If, beautiful I, thing. if I sweep, I'm not even seeing the surface, <laughs> right. but guess what? Beautiful I don't card. mind. I'm going to get out of this right. thing, and college football's so around the corner. That sounds great. So those were all my picks. Before we go to Jordan Sharp, just quickly review what your no picks are. No problem. I've got the Rangers and the A's, the first five under. I've got the Dodgers today full game run line plus 120 and I'm taking Boston full game money line minus 115 three picks Pistol awesome, Pete awesome sbrodds.com sportsbookreview.com now let's go to uh, Jordan <laughs> Sharp to get some uh, thoughts on the early games the, the late games man. Jordan Sharp thanks for being with us what do you think about today's card lots of early games yeah, thanks, fellas. I'll pick on a couple things you guys said just recently, Mike. I really like, uh, really like McCarthy today. Is the, the yeah. Dodgers a lot of juice on that one? But man, that kid has been pitching outstanding yeah. since coming off the disabled list and coming back into that rotation. I really like that play with the juice over there at minus one eighty. And Pete, you guys are talking about the Cardinals and Mets. I think that we have a reason why the Cardinals are not higher a favorite here in this one. Adam Wainwright has been absolutely disgusting on the road this season. Hitters are averaging you know, a nearly three hundred average against him right. on the road compared to about two thirty nine at home, and it's last. Wow. Four starts have been at home. So I think they, you got to be careful with that. But yes. I think you can, with the Mets, who rank like in the lower third of the league in strikeout percentage and weighted on base percentage against right handers, and Adam Wainwright's been pitching really well, you got to think he's going to turn that road game around sometime. Why not sure. tonight? You know, So I, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. And, and again, it's like, you know, if this were like minus 150, all the stuff you were saying uh, would, would, would put me off it. But yeah. despite all the stuff you said, if you're giving me, you know, minus 120, minus 130, I'm willing to go for Absolutely, it. and it's one of yeah. those ones that if you lose, you're okay with yeah. it. You yeah. know, it's, Absolutely. Yeah. Jordan Sharp, uh, we have anything else for us today? Yeah, so uh, a couple of props I'm going to look at this afternoon. There's a lot of great games this afternoon. Um, uh, Madison Bumgarner's on the hill, and anytime Madison Bumgarner's on the hill, I really like looking at his strikeout total if he's facing mm -hmm. a team that's strikeout heavy. Guess what he's facing today? The Cincinnati yeah. Reds. 23.3 wow. strikeout percentage against left-handers. It's one of the worst in the league's. Bumgarner uh, has a strikeout per nine rate of over 10 this uh, this season. I really like him tonight. If he's sitting around eight and a half, nine strikeouts, I think he could be looking at a pretty big game. The Reds love to swing and miss. They have some lefties that are very susceptible to strike out. And another guy I think that uh, you could be looking at here in the afternoon slate, you guys were talking about that Detroit game. Well, Erod has not necessarily been that great against uh, right-handers. Mm -hmm. And I think Miguel Cabrera could be an interesting guy you could look at here. He's got a 329 average this season against left-handers. So I might be looking at a runs, hits, and RB eyes prop on him and finally tonight I know you guys are bashing the Cubs but one guy I think you have to look at for the Cubs tonight is Anthony Rizzo against a right-hander every time he faces a right-hander he just crushes 17 of his 24 home runs have come off right-handers with a 428 weighted on base percentage I am going to pick on uh, him tonight I, I think very very hard in uh, in their matchup against Renato so uh, those are kind of the three guys I'm looking at make sure you check out my props article as well as we come out later in this afternoon for some more picks this season. Wednesday on Sports, but a team's played 14 straight unders. We'll let you know who that is. Two bad beats in Major League Baseball. We preview the Philadelphia Eagles as we continue the NFC East preview with a deep dive in Brady Cannon to preview the PGA Championship. Wednesday on Sports Bit, betting insight today. Sounds awesome, Jordan Tribe. Just a couple comments on that guy, Renato. He, uh, he's been he's had two relief appearances this year. It was horrific. Yeah. Eight walks and four innings. But his minor league stats were, were okay. Yeah. He had, like, a decent amount of strikeouts, didn't have control issues in the minors, had success. So, uh, you know, at this long term uh, this year, uh, he'll probably have some good starts. Will he have a good start here? I don't know. I would tend to... Uh, Think not, but uh, but he's not a total tomato can, just which some people might think based on his two relief appearances yeah. so far this year. I, li right. I like Jordan's prop bet, yes. though, because uh, you know he's really he's on 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 the cue ball with uh, Cabrera, and Cabrera's overdue. So look out there, and also I'm telling you right now, buddy, the Cubbies better start turning something around because it ain't smelling good in Chicago. No, it ain't. All right, great show. Let's go. Let's get this one out. We'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday card. Always on the go. 
Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.